Hi, welcome to our Arch Linux base. It's uh, up to us now to decide what to install. Uh, in this case, we're making a tutorial about Mate. So on ericdubois.be, there is this base installation. That's what we've done. We're on virtual machine. We're on Linux Mint in the virtual machine, virtual box, and we have a base installation of Arch. We log in as a normal user, and we're gonna clone something. We're gonna get scripts from somewhere. Otherwise, I, you have to do everything manually. That takes time, and we want to have a working system as fast as possible. So, I'm gonna be sure that I have Git. So, Git is not installed. So, sudo pacman minus s git install me this program. And then we do a git clone from and it's written on voila, the website git.com slash my name is Eric Dubois and it's arch and what kind of arch is it made? Is it XFCE? Is it uh, i3? Is it Veggie? All these things exist there. So this time we're going to install ArchMate. All the scripts are here in a folder. We go inside it and we check it out. We go inside the installation folder and we check it out. Now we do this one, ls-aux, meaning that I have a different kind of way, it's a different way of layout. And you can see that my 030 is going as up, up top there and then we have to follow actually just these numbers. What is the first number? Well, actually you can just type zero and then tap, tap. So these are all the things with a zero. So let's get, let's do really everything, meaning let's get our service as well, let's update everything. But in the other movie, I take the minus version one, which is for the world. And now I'm gonna take this one for Belgium, which is my location. Meaning I have this little script, a little code that says, look, get me everything from Belgium, but also Holland and England and France and Germany. So my neighboring countries. It doesn't mean that they're the fastest, but they're likely to be the fastest. Taiwan and so on is a bit further away. That's done. Um, next up, so you go up and you see 020. So that means you're at 030. And then we have to decide what do we need. We Are we on an SSD? Are we on a hard disk? Yeah? Or are we on a virtual machine? And in this case, for me, I have to choose virtual box. And everything is explained on Arch what, what things you should install. But what I do is write it in a script and I don't have to type it every time. So I just run the script and like you see, it does its job. And we have to decide another thing, which is this question. And you have to choose number two and confirm it. And then uh, we can have uh, graphical things because Xorgs and Xserver is going to provide our graphical uh, look. It's our server. Boom, 0 0.30, okay, 0 0.40 is an interesting tool like Yaourt. It's uh, an, a way of installing all the AUR packages or the uh, programs, applications that are possible to install. So that's Packer, but now we're going for the base, which is for us the mate core now. It could be Budgie, it could be Gnome, it could be anything, but in these lines, there is um, everything you need to have to have a fully and effective and beautiful mate system. I see Mutter passing by, interesting name to keep in mind. And you just follow what he does. In the meantime, we are also installing uh, the GDM, so the GNOME Display Manager. That's the way how you log in. And if you want to install something else like, like say, Cinnamon, well, you end up in the, the black screen of GDM, and there's a little icon, and you decide what you choose, Cinnamon 
open box XFC made gnome and the pop-up for the, the choice uh, list will come then and you choose your desktop you want to have for that day let's uh, pause the movie and get back to you when it's done if I find my mouse okay the installation is finished so this was 0 050 meaning all we can do now is sudo type sudo reboot yeah? or we can keep in the terminal it's um, it's a choice what we do now uh, if you go and decide to keep in the terminal then you should do this one and these are all the ones so you're going to install the core software but also the sound and the printers and network i've changed uh, this uh, desktop management environment in uh, terminal the other one in um, graphical environment let's do this one as well in graphical so sudo reboot and see what virtualbox supplies us with the um, best thing I actually do is I get rid of my ISO that's still in our system because now I have to choose to boot from the existing hard disk which is uh, a little bit odd of course so when I erase or pop it out the ISO from the virtual box you won't see that coming up here we have this special kind of look meaning Ctrl C in VirtualBox is uh, putting me back in out of scaled mode, trying to fix the thing again with full screen mode and full screen mode out. It's always tricky to do this. Uh, scale factor is 100, so that's correct. It should be, it should be, it should be this one. Let's try that. Then full screen mode and then back out and then back in. It's really tricky can't help it it's like that but I can no I cannot do anything yet full screen mode no not that one that's why I rather prefer to stay in the terminal you understand me let's scale it to something else as a smaller size I think this one might do the trick just be patient with the thing it will work at some point in time but it's always uh, well, a little bit of luck I guess is in order these are all set right maybe scale mode Ugh. ugly control C and we're out of it again let's try another size like this one maybe Hope for the best. Nope. Ugh. And then it shows up right and then it's gone again. In i3 it's rather difficult to be able to do it, but I wanted to do it because it's the only thing that's um, well new to me <laughs> that I can learn something from. Uh, so full screen mode. Let me spare some tutorial time okay after a few minutes I was successful to get something out of my screen so uh, I did do a resize till 2000, 1024 so this works to continue our tutorial that's the main thing so uh, as you can see the arch is still inside not sure yes I can eject it so, so let's do that and maybe if I have to reboot you won't see it again so this is the basic uh, mate look, of course, it's not uh, nice. So we need to do something about it. We need to fine tune it and it's gonna be here in appearance amongst other things. So we installed, so if we downloaded a folder and this folder is filled with all kinds of things. We have installed up to here. Yeah. So this is not yet installed. So let's move this one here and not that one but open in terminal move that one there and it's gonna be the 100 that's what we're gonna do 
probably have an Azerty, you a Querti, I mean. Oh, nice. So, my challenge again. Where is again the control center and the keyboard and the layout and add? Afghanistan, no, no, Belgium, better. Okay, add English, no, remove, close, gone. Let's do an Azerty trial. Okay, that's gonna work. So, slash 100. We're going to install all the software we're gonna need. Just take a look at it. What's inside? Mm -hmm. Archie, you know, bleach pit to clean stuff up. Catfish, very interesting to find stuff. Um, what else? Our conky is going to be installed. Dark table, Firefox. So the general well-known programs are going to be installed. Waiting for it to finish. Okay, that has been installed. Going to install the printers. Put your fingers already on the keyboard since you're gonna type three times your password. Ow, too fast. Slower, Eric. Like so. Then the sound. Some music and some internet, maybe. And we're off to number two. This has been left to a minimum, so there are a lot of scripts, a lot of programs inside it. I've only uh, added three, I think. Oh, there seems to be a problem with Spotify at this point in time for installation. I did see earlier on there was a Spotify update, so maybe they're working on their uh, scripts. So just wait and you'll get a Spotify later. Sublime Text is installed. And now we're going to fix all these hard coded icons. But that's it. All right, um, let's scroll down here. So we went to this one. This one is the fun, meaning it's the tuning. So icons, themes, uh, fonts, yeah, sure, fonts as well. The cursor. Mm -hmm. And when things feel slow, kind of sluggish, you do Ctrl C and arrow up and do it again. And this should be the speed. Yeah, that's how fast GitHub is normally. Ouch. 28 seconds, 29, 30. Well, let's, let's just pause uh, our tutorial. Okay, almost there. The Savvy icons have been installed. Surfing icons, that's a normal speed. And then the arc team, I believe. And the blank teams. The cursor. And that's number three, 100. And now the slash 400 is specific stuff that I don't have any place for that is specific to mate, like the mate tweak is quite specific. Things that are really, um, well, just for the distro at hand are in here. So the mate tweak has been installed. We up. To 500, but 500 I'm not going to install since 500 is Samba. Samba is sharing over the network, meaning I want to share my folder with music to another computer to somebody else. If that's not important to you, you don't install it. This is a kind of uh, specific, it's personal. You just check out what's inside this personal coding. Well, for instance, the Arc theme Colora will be copied there as well and other small things like GNOME screenshot is going to be saved in GPG. Uh, some scripts on Jim, GIMP that are going to be copy pasted. So that's quite personal, you check it out if you want it. 
700 is uh, can be run but you should start Firefox first it says so it cannot copy to a folder that's not there so you have to start Firefox in the meantime he's making folders in our hidden a folder hidden place so when it's it, you run it once and now we can now he knows where to copy it because the folder has been created it's a little fix for me to when I use I use mostly dark themes and when I go to several websites and you edit an input box or something like that you can't read it so now this little file of CSS is copied there and he'll make it readable for me here it ends uh, these are all the rest are just uh, scripts if you want to install them or not like the GNOME terminal transparency but we are in mate so it could be a mate terminal and the mate terminal has already transparency uh, which we can change and all that so next tutorial is about fine tuning this is still not a nice uh, system to work on everything is installed but uh, wallpaper should be changed icons themes cursors and that will be done in the next tutorial